Hey, welcome back. My name is Dr. Knotts, and this is HackNet. And today, we've got a few more missions, three that we're going to do in this episode. We can knock them out real quick. Maybe we'll do more, but let's take a look. So we've got two contracts down, point clicker and the famous counter hack. That's what we did last time. So we're going to come back here and log in. We got back to school. I think we're just going to do all four of them, actually. I don't know if that's, I don't know if we have to choose three or four. We're just going to go down the list. So we might not get to this one. We'll see. Back to school. The high school has contacted us with concerns about their IT department accessing private student data, likely on the request of one of their students' parents. We can't say for sure. They don't want anything deleted, but want to discreetly find their IT staff's private password so they can investigate themselves. Their IT staff's private. Okay. Capitalize it the first time, not the second time. Let's do it. Okay, Agent Milberg High School's administration department has contacted us looking for a means of quietly gaining their IT staff's admin password so that they can perform an investigation as to what data they are keeping on their students. While inside, try to preserve all data the way you find it. Any tampering could mess with their judgment. For your part of it, you'll need to break in, clear your tracks, and reply to this with the password to the server. We'll take care of contacting the school and sending the details over. Good luck, Entropy Admins. Alright, that's easy enough, right? Let's probe the system. We got some proxies going on, so let's shell the place up. So I think what we do is when we overload it with more, we can get through it faster, right? We can get through the proxy faster. Let's just try three. I don't know if this one's gonna have a timer. Let's try. Hold the system. We're gonna do overload, overload, overload. See how it, it speeds up. So there's no timer. We'll just let it go. We got that. We can close these now. And what we can do then is SSH point two. So open ports required for crack is one. So boom, we've cracked it. So now we can hack it. Port hack. All right, so I'm getting it. So we have the capabilities right now to open two ports. So anything that requires more than two, we cannot do right now. All right, let's take a look through this stuff. Miscellaneous, people not to trust. Jinkle, hey dude. Know where I can pick up some herb? A guy at Lacey's gave me your deets. Marcy, yeah dude. What you chasing? Jinkle, sweet. How much for an ounce? Marcy, 145. Jinkle tool. Man, done deal. Where do you want to meet? Marcy, so we have a deal, 145 for an ounce of Primo weed? Jinkle, yeah man, done. Marcy, cool. I got your IP address, so I'll just swing by. Jinkle, wait, how do you know that? Marcy, being a cop has its perks. Jinkle, shit, mom's gonna kill me. Okay. Marcy and Jinkle are people not to trust? Private student emails. If a student ever sends me an appreciative email, I will store it here. God, I'm so alone. Notepad.exe. You're the only one that understands me. Wow, okay. This is uh, the, the high school staff. <laughs> Student top search history. Google boobs, boob. Sex, side boob, porn. How to disable porn filter. Oh my god. Things that get past porn filter. Civil war paintings. Interesting. Grand Theft Auto, twerking, what is twerking, twerking techniques, that one topless chick in that French war painting, sports, sport ball, dot 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 dot. Alright, civil war paintings, interesting, that's the most interesting I think. Announcements. Regarding the announcements of internet proxy server outages, while some of our staffing body doesn't know what the proxy server going down means, clearly some of our students do. During the announced outage of it last night, apparently some students worked out that while the internet was still active, the search filter wasn't. And in the space 
of the 20 minute outage, downloaded a total of 22 terabytes of pornography onto the school servers and various homeroom PCs. Wow. Obviously, we'd like to prevent this happening again via more secure means, but at the very least, maybe don't announce it to them next time. Thanks, administration. So that's over a terabyte per minute? Man. What is this? What is this? EW memo. Wait, Mbit? I've been thinking about security. J Brooks, yeah? Mbit, yeah. And I think all these upgrades are just going to be a huge goddamn hassle to put in and work with and stuff. But check this out. Easy solution. We just make the IT password asterisks. I don't get it. Exactly, just seven asterisks. That's literally the password, just stars. Who's going to guess that? No one, even if someone hacks it, still looks protected. Literally unbreakable. Well, until you put this log in here. All right, so seven asterisks. Let's uh, remove our being here. Did I make a note of that or can I remember seven asterisks? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, really? What is happening? We just got a ton of emails. Seven answers? Wow. I don't know if the guy's a genius or an idiot. Probably a bit of both. Damn, I mean, I only checked it myself because the verification script said it was working and I wanted to test that. Huh. This is going to be a confusing reply to the school admins. Ugh, good work on your end. Putting it through now. What is happening here? Okay, so now ranking's 40. Greetings agent, a new contract's come up that's required us to pick up some new tech. As you're online now, it'd be convenient for us if you could accept this one and test it out for us as your next job. The contract requires access to a target's phone. An EOS device. We've contacted a specialist in this field and gained access to the tools that we need for the job. They're largely untested as is, so keep that in mind. Important. You'll be forwarded the information on the tools from our contact shortly. Check this email first. You're gonna write in the email to check this email first? Okay. Once you have access to the phone, you're looking to find the password to the owner's email account, one which we know he has synced to the device. Reply with that password and we'll take care of the rest. Jason's PowerBook Plus. Why do we care about Jason? I don't, I don't know. Hey, Entropy peeps. So, EOS device scanner is uploaded to your asset server. Okay. Should run as a pretty standard connection. Let's add the basics quickly here. Yeah, sorry. Should run as a pretty standard connection targeted extension. Executable is what I meant. Because it needs to read a bunch of files in a system folder to get the info on devices synced to the target computer, it needs admin access on the target machine to start running. Once it's going, it should be fine if you lose it or disconnect, though. Basically, it works by checking through the backups made when a device syncs to a computer, then pretends to do a new wireless sync with the device and uses an, an exploit in that to open an SSH port, etc., etc. Here's the trick. Because EOS users don't get access to the terminal on their own device, all the admin passwords are the same, but across the entire product range. It's Alpine. No need to thank me. Probably just saved you a million years or something. I'll be expecting the payment we agreed on as soon as this upload finished. Yeah? So Alpine? Okay. So that's what we need to know. Probably get rid of that. I don't. We're gonna probably get rid of this too. So. Okay, that's that. We need the. FTP bounce. This is what we need. Okay, so we need to download this. SCP EOS device scan exe. Alright, so now we have it. 
So I should be able to write EOS and it'll complete. Nice. Okay. Alright, so let's go. So, get admin access to a computer that you suspect has an EOS device synced to it, which is this. Let's probe the system. We need to do two so we know how to do this, right? SSH 22. Oh, baloney. SSH. Let's see if we can remember things without all those notes now. We've done it for a while, right? So we don't have any trap on here. It's just going to run properly, looks like. Okay, and then we need to open the FTP. So we've got FTP bounce 21. Let that run. Got it. Now we can port hack, right? Actually, let's quickly scan. Okay, let's port hack, then we can scan. So then we'll have to log in here with that. Well, let's quickly scan to see what's going on. Not much is going on. I kind of want to look around and then we'll log in. Sonium. Someone speak Python here? Oh, hiss. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. I was like, what does that mean? Is that like... No. I think it's a hiss, hiss, hiss. The programming language. Okay. Oh, boy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, is it just counting? No, it jumps. Does it? Maybe it doesn't jump. If there's significance with that, I don't even know. Alright, Cthon98. Hey, if you type in your PW password, I assume, it will show as stars. See? Azure Diamond. 100 Chew. Doesn't look like stars to me. Stars, 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 Azure Diamond, stars, stars. That's what I see. Azure Diamond. Oh, really? Cthon, absolutely. Ezra Diamond then says, you can go Hunter 2, my Hunter 2-ing Hunter 2. Haha, uh -huh, does that look funny to you? you think, oh yeah, see, when you type Hunter 2, it shows to us as asterisks. Ezra Diamond, that's neat, I didn't know IRC did that. You think, yep, no matter how many times you type Hunter 2, it'll show to us as asterisks. Awesome, wait, how do you know my password? Or er, I just copy-pasted your stars, and it appeared to you as Hunter 2, because it's your password. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> and we got some binary. I'm not gonna, I don't know what that means. Valley, you need anything on the way home? Kitty hat 22. Why do you even bother asking? Valley, come on. I thought we were done with all this. Kitty hats. Done with what? Valley. All this useless fighting over nothing. Kitty hat. You're never home, and when you are, you don't even bother to talk to me. Valley. Maybe you should try and appreciate that I'm working my ass off to pay off our debt so we can finally get out of here. What do you do all day? Kitty Hat. Don't turn this around on me. You know I've been looking for a job. At least I try to understand what is going on in our, your life. You don't even ask about mine. Valley, whatever. See you when I get home. Ooh, tension at home. Dirtweed. How was the weekend, Willow? Great, until they kicked me out of laundry. Dirtweed. Rafflecopter. You got kicked out of that hellhole? What did you do? Willow, well, apparently I was pretty smashed and the security guards caught me falling over. Dirtweed, lol. Willow, so as they were shoving me outside, I protested that I'm not even that drunk, guys, and proceeded to vomit all over one of the guards in front of about 30 people lining up outside. Holy shit. I'm going to bed. Still hungover. Night. And part two. Oh, a different, different conversation. Bud. What's going on, mate? Heller. Where the hell are you? Bud. Not entirely sure. Woke up without a shirt, hidden inside a shrub. Heller. We were looking for you for hours. Last I saw, you were hanging on E and chasing after the ice cream truck. Bud. We have an ice cream truck in this town? Heller. No, but you thought we did last night. Bud. I'm getting too old for this. 
Okay, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I need to do <laughs> reading all this stuff. Okay, so what we need to do is as follows. Probably in the home, I'm not sure if it matters where we do it. We gotta type in, oh, we gotta log in, we gotta log in. We don't type in anything. So username is admin alpine for the password. What? Tintin? Huh? Oh. Okay. That was weird. I'm already logged in anyway. I have to type in th this thing. Jeez. There we go. And we gotta connect to the revealed device. And then we log in via admin and alpine. So how do we how do we connect? Oh, here. Log in to the ePhone using admin and alpine. I think I spelled it. There you go. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing? First off, I'm gonna come back here. Let's remove the logs. And then we'll go back to the phone. I got too caught up in all of those uh, exchanges, all those raffle copters that I forgot what I'm actually doing. So I'm hoping the other two count. Let's see. Insufficient memory. Let's close that for a second. So I'm, I'm hoping that the two over here that we opened and this one here will be the three that we need. Okay. Open additional ports on target machine. Huh. Well, I can still view it. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, so those are the games. These are all games or apps. Okay. Notes. Pork buns. Okay, so this is how you make pork buns. That's nice. Tortillas. Okay, so he's a, he's a chef. Tintin7. Is that the password that we're looking for, right? The email password? I gotta go back here, I can't remember. Well, let's just keep, wait, just keep an, um, actually, let's do this, add note. Tin tin seven. We'll keep note of that. We're gonna keep looking around. Nothing else, really. So let's remove the log files and go back to the email. I think, I think they want tin tin seven, right? They wanted the password. That's not the email. Yeah, Tintin7. Reply with that password, we'll take care of the rest. Here we go. Congratulations, the client of your recent contract has reported a success and is pleased with their work. All right. Oh, look at this. We got a bonus point. We're down to 19 now. We're going down by 20 previously, but now we went down by 21. All right, let's go back to the database. Log in as us. We got here. A bit of a strange request. Someone exceptionally well funded asked <laughs> for some help in investigating a coworker's tablet to see if it's being used for personal matters at work. A cursory poke around their system made it look like they were obsessed with aliens. Might be a really dedicated role-playing group or a group of conspiracy theorists. Hmm. Let's do that. I'm, I'm curious. Internal investigations. Hello, civilian. The XC project has need of your assistance. While strictly a quiet and internal matter, it's something I'd personally like investigated, as I've held suspicions on it for some time. I believe one of the prominent research leads 
on our science team here may be being less productive than she could be. I'd like an outside operative to investigate her tablet and see if anything's out of place or not work related. Our servers use a centralized data storage system that mirrors files by an ID code. I'd like you to investigate the system and reply to me with a code to any file you think might be worth investigating. The files that we're after should have their ID marked at the top, like this. XC underscore project ID number 11111, where the ones is the ID we're after here. Attach is a direct link to the tablet in question. Good luck, CO Bradford. All right. Let's see if I can do this with no, nothing over here. All right, so we've got a proxy, so we need a shell. We're gonna do no notes, no help. Let's shell this up, let's see. I don't I don't think a, a random civilian tablet, right, should, would have, um, you know, any sort of trap on it, you would think. All right, so let's overload it. Yeah, looking good. All right, so now we can SSH crack this thing. Close these. I should go back and check to see when we do this, are we... I'm just curious, let's go back to this thing. Oh, look at this, yeah, we're shelling it. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna get caught overloading people's computers. If I go to someone else's, will this keep going? Yeah, okay. We'll go back here. Oh crap, we still have to. Where's let it? continue before I start something new. Okay, so I can't do two things at once. That's what I was curious. No, remove these. What are you, what are you doing? Okay. Can I just remove the whole thing? Okay, no, I can't. How do I get in here? I just bought a bunch of, I, I guess we're gonna just keep, keep playing that? All right. Um, I can probe. I don't want, to, I don't know if this would like come back and bite us in the ass if we kept all of these shells open and never deleted the files and the logs. If that would come back, like if we accumulate enough, you know? Okay, so showing it being disconnected, that's just something that's going to happen. We connect, we've connect. we done this with someone else, though, too, right here. Alright, we'll clean up a little bit more later, but this is a good cleanup for now. So disconnecting, that, that's just what happens. So now where do I want to go? I want to go here. Okay, so let's scan. And then we can port hack. Okay, so we need the file names or whatever, the number. So that's the log, we'll delete that later. Ah, here we go. Penetrator, what? Okay. Research report schematic. Code name Gaping Dragon. Requirements 22 alloys. UFO power source. Solarium powered device is capable of extending and attracting an extremely durable alloy rod up to 2 feet at a rate of 200 oscillations per second for a virtually unlimited duration without the need for additional power sources. Cutting edge power source will allow for previously unobtainable operating times and intensities. Careful attention and processing should be paid to the outer bracket on the arm, which allow the attachment of a number of different heads and needs to provide a secure fit. Note also that the rod needs to be detachable, described in note A12. 
This device should allow us to improve research efficiently greatly and should be a top priority. The requisite schematics have been set. Dr. Shen. Fabrication immediately. This is freaking from XCOM! Is this from XCOM? Dr. Shen is the engineer. I don't know if she's an official doctor, but they use Illyrium, alloys, 105 credits. Okay, it's supplies in the newer X. I don't know. This is weird. I wonder if that's something we should keep track of. Wait, how do I add a note? Okay, add note four nine nine one. Okay. Okay. Laser rifle MK two. Code name Sunray. Our recent research into the enhanced optics found in the alien devices was extremely successful. And our initial efforts to apply the technology in our own weapon systems is extremely promising. The MK2 laser rifle has disregarded our initial attempts to make a rifle capable of endless sustained fire while power lasts. Due to overheating issues, the MK2 rifle requires a dissipation of heat after sustained firing, emulating the reloading of traditional ballistic weapons. While not ideal, Conceding this has created a significantly more accurate and deadly weapon than our earlier efforts, and should be something of a flat upgrade in all respects from our current rifles. Though the materials required to fabricate the rifles are not extremely expensive, save the need for some recovered alloys, our current manufacturing techniques will require many attempts to produce a focusing lens of the appropriate clarity and stability, a system that we have not yet perfected. Why am I getting a loading thing here? Okay. Because of this, the rifles will require the manufacture of approximate 100 lens lensing systems to luck into making one of sufficiently high quality, a problem seen in current photography lens manufacturing. The addition of more engineers. We may be able to spare personnel to specialize in these areas and reduce this problem, reducing the cost of fabrication. Schematics for fabrication are available on the central engineering server as ID. Okay, this seems normal. Nothing about aliens. Oh, right here. Should... One, two, nine, nine. Question mark? I'm not sure. Flight computers. Okay. The alien flight computer was an extremely interesting research piece. Without the specialized research team members that found a way to decipher the alien data systems, we would have made extremely little progress. But we are still in the dark about many of the executable and programmatic operations of the computer. We have deciphered much of the data, and managed to recover some images and audio from the device. Though the languages used in what we presume to be textual files is still out of reach. Much of the data implies that the computer is specialized in extremely long-range navigation, functional both in planetary ranges and galactic scales. It also includes some confusing information on extremely high-speed collision avoidance. While the craft seems unconcerned with smaller particles such as asteroids, wait, those are small? It is intent to avoid planetary masses while traveling. It gives us many clues towards the nature of their faster than light propulsion technology that will require further research. In addition to this, we found some surprising images on the device. What initially appeared to be anatomical and medical information about the crew of the craft was reevaluated to be a form of alien pornography. <laughs> But there are no visible reproductive organs, the sectoid species appears to have a fascination with the neck and underside of the jaw, for reasons we cannot yet understand. Though not concrete, though not concrete information, our troops may wish to consider this a weak point, though it may be difficult to target in the heat of battle. Okay, this is totally XCOM. Also, we're adding a note. I think all of these things... 1-9... What am I doing? 3-8? Nope. 3-8? Nope. 1938, there we go. Sectoid, that's from XCOM as well. Xenogenetics. The recovered species are extremely similar, not just in appearance, but in genetic makeup. My initial interpretation they were clones may have been inaccurate. While the DNA between the entities is identical, 
Perhaps this is a trait common to their species. Individual differences are purely mental. Nervous systems between the species are extremely similar to those found in terrestrial mammals, including humans. What does this say about our own or origins? Is this a universal constant? Why? No detected species appears uh, no detected species appear to have any form of smell, though well, their visual senses appear very similar to those found in some insects, though much more developed. Facial opening in the nose region appear to be used as close to a form of taste, but serves practically the same function. 2133. 2133. Okay, so we got four of these things. I think that's what we're going to be doing. Let's, uh, you know, remove ourselves from the logs and type in these four numbers I guess like I'm not sure what the company actually does like, is it an alien company I don't know what I'm gonna do is add them like this so that we get four different lines if, you know in case that matters Excellent work, civilian. You didn't leave anything to chance and it paid off. This all looks in order, exactly the sort of files I was hoping we'd see worked on. Hopefully the team's diligence in pursuing these projects will give us an edge in future engagements. Wait, what? Bradford! Oh, okay, it is XCOM. God damn it. I didn't catch that before Bradford, but that's totally XCOM. Okay. Bradford from XCOM? Oh, I can't send it. All right. Current ranking is one out of a hundred. What does that mean? With the with the top entropy person? Aggression must be punished. Doctor Not, you've proved yourself very capable in a small, very small amount of time. I'm impressed. There's something that's been bothering me for a while that I'd like you to help with. A relatively new but apparently talented hacker by the handle Nakes has been a bit over-aggressive. He claims to have recently stolen a great deal of internal data from Macrosoft Inc. Entropy is actively trying to improve the view of the hacker community in the eyes of the public. Just because our methods can be illegitimate does not mean our intentions are to harm. Nakes is doing a lot of damage this effort. Uh, Nakes is doing a lot to damage this effort. I would like you to delete what he stole. The IP he used to access their servers is attached. The archive should be on that m node somewhere. A recently acquired program has been added to the asset server to aid you in this task. Let's add this. Let's go over here. All those are the contracts. Whoops. That's what we need. We've got SMT power flow. Okay, so to download that, that's SCP, right? SMT power flow.exe. This one right here. SCP, SMT. Am I spelling it incorrectly? Oh, it's not power, it's over. Oh, SMTP overflow. <laughs> Okay, and that's me. Got it. So we're going to have to hit up proxy node X04. And that's what we're doing, right? Let me go back to this quickly. Yeah, we hit this one up right there. All right, so next time we're going to take care of Nakes. We're going to delete whatever Nakes stole. And, you know, we want the hacker community to be looked upon as... You know, beneficial to society, even though the what we do may be frowned upon. The objectives are very altruistic, right? I don't know, whatever. Alright, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.